war. What is war? War is one group of the 1%, if you want to call them that, um, although I'll bow to Fred's genius in understanding it's not just the 1%. The 1% in our country makes you a slave because they capture rents, the rents of natural resources, lands, government-granted monopolies. What's war? That's stealing the elite of another country's rents. That's what war is. It's our using our force to get a hold of the rents so we can enslave another population to us. But we're still enslaved. And that's all war. Until we recognize that what war is really about, is stealing the resources of another country. And that's also, for me being an environmentalist, stealing our future generation's resources, because that's what we do when we harm the environment. That's all that war is. It's perfect with the thesis that Carlo and Fred said. It's just a means of nicking other people's land, natural resources, and their labor. It's all about theft of our labor and our efforts. And that's what rent is. Rent is just a pyramid. It's a way the very wealthy and lots of other people who subscribe to that system of rent, you buy to let landlords, they subscribe to it because they get money for doing nothing, for abusing and enslaving those around them. And that's all that rent is. So if you want a solution to the problem of poverty, you want a solution to the problems of war, what you have to say is that natural resources, the rents of land, the ability to pollute, is everybody's property. It's not a few people's property. Otherwise, there's such an amount of money to destroy the environment. There's such an amount of money to be made by going in and nicking oil from another country for those tiny minor minority at the top. That's what war's about, and that's what environmental destruction's about. It's about stealing what belongs to us all. And we're all slaves and we'll be forever more slaves until we learn to share rents, until we start taxing the value of land, taxing environmental pollution, taxing the very things that make us wealthy in the future, and to put the very things, the ground, the soil, the, the natural resources. It's where our taxes should come from. And by doing that, we take away the reason the perverse incentive for people to go to war. The perverse incentive to destroy our children's environment. So that's what this whole system's about. Taxing land, taxing natural resources will allow us to have more jobs, but it'll allow us to have enough money to make sure the poor man in that house, on that terrible social system we've devised, because the incentive is for political lobbyists to tell our politicians to enact these pop policies to make that poor man in his tiny little house even more in poverty so they can enrich themselves. It's a systematic thing. I come from a statistical background, population and genetic modeling, and it tells me that our problems are systemic. We can work them out there mathematically, but we're not allowed to talk about that in economics, because economics is voodoo. You can't use a proper uh, hypothesis, scientific hypothesis, because they don't want to know the result. They just want to know how to pocket the cash. <laughs>